everybody. We're not running that far behind. I've got everything uh, that's not going to be a huge mailbag anyway. Hang on a sec. One more. All right, let's go ahead and do our sound check before I even get in there. Check, check. I assume you guys can hear me okay. And we're coming in. Set this down right here. I gotta go grab the box with the knife. Forgot. Um, I got a new box. I mean, it's an old box, but it's a new box. Uh, as I was going through the basement and uh, organizing things, I picked up a wonderful box that somebody had sent for uh, with endowments, and I thought that would make a great new mailbag box that's not Star Wars themed. I love Star Wars, but it's not exactly on the topic of Kitten Academy, is it? Not technically, anyway. So, all right, I just switched everything into the new box. All right, how about that? This is not exactly on the theme either, but at least it's a little more generic. I like it. And... Uh, if you will give me one more second, I just want to go um, and grab a chair to sit on, and then I think we'll get running. So uh, let me let me take that one second. I'll be right back.
All right, here we go. Forgot to turn my mic back on, but uh, there we go. Okay, so, well, you guys know the news of the week. Some of it wasn't so great. Um, there is a close-up earlier this week um, about Sprocket and Cog, so I won't go into it now. Um, but if you want to find it, I'm sure you can find it. It's, uh, you can just search for their names on our YouTube channel, and there you go. As for other news, uh, the big news, of course, is that Spays for these kids start this week. Um, it's going to be Sky and Cuddles actually going for their Spays together on Monday. I talked to Cuddles Foster, and she's going to uh, bring Cuddles to the vet on Monday, and I'm going to bring Sky, So they'll kind of get to see each other <laughs> for a minute anyway, uh, in a sense. Um, not that they were ever such great friends, but maybe uh, Sky will catch cuddles up on how her kids have progressed. And um, that is Monday. Now, off the top of my head, I don't have the rest of the calendar, but I know in the next couple weeks, uh, all, everybody's going to get their spays and neuters. And uh, we've actually got adopters for, I think, almost everybody. Uh, I don't think I've heard whether Kashmir has an adopter, but he might. And he would be the only one that I haven't heard for sure. So everybody else is definitely accounted for. And Kashmir uh, might might be, um, I don't, don't, you know. If you're the one that's adopting him and you're like, why is Mr. A say he doesn't have an adopter? Don't panic. I just don't know right now. So uh, there you go. Um, I think that's really the only big news. Uh, that, that stuff, I mean, we've covered it now. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that's about it. I've been giving these kids another round of dewormer uh, because there's still some bad poops here and there, and I thought I'd just do the whole house at once. That's been quite an undertaking, and uh, there's some people that will do the dewormer for three days, and there's some people that will do it for five, and I want to go five, but um, these guys, I can do five, no problem. The kids upstairs, five, no problem. Sky, no problem, um, and even... Uh, um, gadget upstairs is not going to be a trouble, um, but the faculty, on the other hand, are uh, rough. And uh, you might notice, I don't know how well you can see uh, any of this right now, but there's little white flecks um, pretty much all over the house at the moment. That's from the dewormer. It's very chalky. There's some on me, too, with these pants. Um, and uh, there'll probably be a little bit more of that before we're done, and I get to mop everything up at once. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the faculty is going to be tricky. I might just try to do today and uh, just call it for them and then just give five days to everybody else. But uh, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. It's, uh, they're, not that, they're just not that easy to do. They, oof, man, they hate it. Uh, it's, uh, it's funny that, um, you know, it's so easy for me to do all the kids that aren't mine, um, but then our kids are just so spoiled, maybe? I don't know. Anyway... Okay, I can't think of anything else that I need to tell you guys about, so we're just going to get rolling, and if I think of anything, it will come up during mailbag. Uh, I do know that while I was at the post office, well, that's a whole other ramble, so um, not anything that's related to anything Kitten Academy directly. Maybe it'll come up later if I think of it again at an appropriate time. Uh, so, I just opened this and it says uh, Kitten Academy Mailbag. So that's us, and I can see what it is. It is the long mice that the kittens like. Is there a note? Well, oh, there we go. Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for these fuzzballs. Catch a mouse, deploy interactive door toy. Oh, deploy furry long tailed mice. Uh, oh, I see. Um, catch mouse is for deployment. Interactive door toy is for deployment. Furry long-tailed mice are for endowment. Well, there's only two things. Th there's only the furry mice in here, so we'll have to keep an eye out for the rest of that in other boxes. But you guys know the long-tailed mice for the endowments. There's some of them always around. I'm, I'm sure you've seen them. That's what they are, just exactly like it says. They've got these silly little cartoon eyes on the front and cute little ears and a crinkly tail. I don't... I'm sure you can hear that now. Very ASMR. Uh, and then soft little fur. They're cute. There's four of them in a box. So that's just enough for all the kittens to have one. And uh, they're, they're good toys. I think the kittens will like them. They're always also something that's nice to have around because when the kittens, um, 
when you need to grab something off the floor to play with them, it's kind of like a string, you know? You can wave it around and really get their attention. So that's good stuff. Okay. I am going to... This is going to go real fast now that I'm looking at it. I like... This is this is going to be a, a, an extremely short mailbag. Uh, oh, oh, that's the other thing that I should mention is, uh, you know, obviously we didn't have mailbag last weekend because of KACon. It seems like a million years ago already... But, uh, yeah, oh, man, it was so fun. And I guess if you were watching last weekend, you got to see people here. I mean, a lot of people here. We we don't generally have anybody over at all. You know, we're not super social people. We don't do, like, poker night or, uh, you know, tabletop gaming night or any of that kind of stuff. Once in a while, you might see the scooters come by um, because when when we want to have friends, when we do have friends, I should say, um, they're always friends of the variety uh, that take the initiative on like uh, making uh, meetups happen, and uh, that's a positive thing. I think it's great. You know, like we all—I uh, shouldn't say we all—but there's a lot of people who would love to be social once in a while, but just don't know how to kind of make that happen. Um, and so it's nice to have friends that will uh, kind of force that to happen once in a while. Uh, so I'm sure you see that, but. But we had close to 100 people probably come through the house last weekend in two big groups, and it was wonderful. I, I really enjoyed every single minute of it, uh, and I think the kittens enjoyed it. I think it was really good for them socialization-wise. Like, I can even see the difference in some of the kittens' personalities just after that one weekend. Um, they seem, like, a little bit more social and, and like, uh, human-oriented, they had a real good time with everybody, even though they started off a little bit shy. Uh, by the end of each day, they were they were loving it and uh, just worn out with all the play and stuff. It was great for them. So uh, yeah, I just I enjoyed every part of it. I wouldn't want to do it every weekend or even maybe twice a year would be too much. But that one weekend, fantastic! I loved every part of it. So uh, thank you to everybody that participated in that, and uh, it was. It was fantastic for me. Oh, what on earth? This does say Kitten Academy on it, right? It's an export, so it came in from somewhere to Kitten Academy. That's pretty clear. I don't think there's a note in here, though. This is Japanese matcha powder, uh, actually sent here from Japan, apparently. Making perfect matcha in three easy steps. Wow. Well, now I can be a matcha man. Ma matcha, matcha, you know, I tried. I really tried. You, you either get it or you don't. I'm not going to sing the song for you. Uh, is there a note? There is not a note. Okay. Well, I don't know who sent this, but I've had... Um, hi, buddy. I don't think I've ever just, like, made matcha. I bet it would be something that DJ would like, since she really likes the green tea. I like it, uh, matcha, as a flavor, and uh, sometimes I've used it as an ingredient in things. I think I even used it to make a, a like a green tea whipped cream once for some uh, cupcakes, maybe. It sounds like something I would do. Uh, so uh, it's interesting. I'll, I'll have to look up even more stuff to do with it. This seems um, fun. I'm sure that whoever sent it had a specific idea behind what they sent it for. So whoever you are, let me know. That's going to be a fun one. Okay. Um, <laughs> we are going to keep moving, though, in the meantime. Uh, so, let's see. This is just addressed to Kitten Academy. Oh, there's a note right on top. Oh, this is a cool pineapple. Wow. Uh, I think this is the same... Toy Cat Toy Company. Here, I'll show you since I'm talking about it. It's G-O-L-I Design. And this is called Pina Catlada. I see what you did there. Uh, Pina Catlada. Uh, however you would want to say it. Anyway, there's a little wordplay there. And it is a woven pineapple that appears to be made out of... Um, you know those nylon uh, bands that they use to, like, on really big packages that they put on really big boxes to hold them to sort of, like, reinforcement straps? Well, it looks like it's made out of those. And that is a really cool thing to do. I wonder if they're recycled or just using that same material. Um, but the way that they've woven it... I don't know why I'm showing this... The way they've woven it is super cool, and it comes with a little bit of catnip. 
Anyway, the G-O-L-I uh, design is, I think, the ones that make those little tiny bunnies and dragonfly toys that I just think are wonderful, um, that I've almost said are like too nice to give the kittens because they're just cute and tiny. So, uh, okay, now there's some more stuff in here, but uh, I was just talking about that because I saw it first. There's a note here that we are going to read now, and it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and everyone at Kitten Academy, greetings. This is my first time writing into Mailbag. I've been following KA for many years. I think my first class was Chili's Beans. Oh, fantastic. Uh, that has been a while. My dad introduced me to the channel, and even though I have since moved away from home, we still message each other about how new mom arrivals, uh, about new mom arrivals and kitten births. Right now, I work at Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. The gift shops and historic buildings here are full of pineapple-themed items because of the colonial era associations with wealth, status, and hospitality. It didn't seem like the right time of year to send a Christmas ornament with a pineapple, so I picked up a few more functional items. One of them I got because it reminded me of everyone's favorite spicy mom. I'm sure you'll be able to guess when you see it. Unfortunately, it didn't get, uh, I didn't get my act together in time for you to get it before she left. I suppose you can just look at it and think of cuddles. Uh, the toy, okay, let's see, hang on. First off, uh, let's, let's take a look at the rest of the stuff before we talk about it. We have Cluck Kitty Kitty Cat Treats, which are freeze-dried chicken coated in catnip. Now that's some next level freeze-dried chicken I have not seen before. Then we have a, oh, this is cute. This is a like a kitchen towel. It is adorable. And you know, I probably am going to run into her uh, new foster, I should say, not her adopter. Uh, I'm probably going to run into her, her new foster on Monday. Or even if I don't run into her directly, I can always just hand it over to the vet to be sent home with her. So there's definitely a way to continue to get this to Cuddles and to Cuddles Adopter. By the way, I haven't heard that Cuddles has an adopter yet, but I have heard from Dawes that you can apply for Cuddles now anytime on their website, um, or if you really want to apply through our website, which I think is a more intensive process, so you may not want to. Um, but if you really did that and wanted Cuddles, uh, we would obviously pass that along to Dawes. We send them all to Dawes, and so they'll get it. Uh, but if you if you wanted to adopt cuddles, I would, uh, um, and that's the generic you. I'm not, I'm not talking to Eliza here. Um, uh, just apply on the, the Dawes website, uh, and uh, you can adopt her. I, if you've been watching her progress on her Foster's YouTube or uh, Facebook posts, then you know that she's actually a very sweet cat and has been just thriving with somebody that has the time to um, focus on her the way that she deserves. So, also, she has uh, finally been integrated with the rest of the cats and kittens at that foster, and uh, from what I hear, she's doing just fine. That's uh, Joyce in the pod. I wanted you to see that. <laughs> this camera, I'm, oh man, I bought this used, oh, used phone. Uh, I bought this phone used because I can't justify the price of, uh, you know, new phones or wow, uh, but uh, I bought it specifically for the camera. So the fact that it's having so many issues staying focused all the time uh, is really an issue for me. <laughs> That's super cute. Okay, uh, this is also very pretty. A nice embroidered pineapple. I don't think this one says anything. It's just the pineapple. All right, hang on there. Okay, so let's continue. If we can, I'll try to keep both things going at once for a minute. Um, okay, I suppose now you can just look at it and think of cuddles. The toy can go to Gadget, and the treats are for everyone. Fantastic. That's a great toy. Uh, Gadget turns out, by the way, Gadget turns out to be almost too playful. Like, she is a hyper cat that really wants to play a lot, and I think that's a great sign that she's feeling healthy now. Um, and, uh... It's, it's, uh, it's wonderful to see that happening for her. And uh, uh, if anything, it's almost a little much for her kittens. I feel like, uh, was it Gab that would always like jump? when she had, she had kittens that were just the same age, and she wanted to play so much, and she would just pounce like a like Tigger, like on the kitten, not on the kittens, but like a, right around the kittens, like boing, 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 right around the kittens and into the box and out of the box. 
and it was it was wild. Like um, it was it was kind of a lot. So uh, I think Gadget is very much that same kind of a mom cat. So. Uh, anyway, the toys can go for Gadget. The treats are for everyone. I wanted to write in now mainly to say thank you for all the cat uh, raising tips I've learned from Kitten Academy. I've had cats my whole life, but I've learned a lot from you about just how much stimulation young cats need and what toys and foods are good. I hope to apply all that now that I've adopted a very energetic one-year-old named Manchengo, Manchigo? Manchigo. I think it's the Manchigo. That's what I'm going with. I got him about a month ago, and he's proving to be a bit of a handful. Yeah, one-year-old cats can definitely still be a handful. I think, um, like, if you are adopting a kitten and you want to sort of know, like, how long is it going to take for them to, to sort of calm down and be a cat instead, it does vary quite a bit. But uh, at the outside, you know, it can, take, it can take five or six years before they start to add the sort of settle down a bit uh, if they're super hyper. Some never do. Maggie is at least that old. She's got to be older than that by a fair margin now. And uh, she still zooms back and forth across the house like a wildcat sometimes. So uh, let's see. Uh, I got him about a month ago, proving to be a bit of a handful. I hope you have a great summer up there in CT, my home state. It's cur currently scorching in VA. And thanks for everything you've done for kittens, cats, and humans. From Eliza, not on Discord, sorry, just a YouTube lurker. All right, that's fine. You don't have to be sorry for that. Um, I'm, I'm a little sorry that we don't get the chance to just chat with you. But uh, thank you so much for writing in. I always say uh, it's, it's so fun when we get the first um, communication from somebody who's actually been watching for quite a while. Um, it's a nice reminder that there's a lot of people out there that are my friends that I don't even know yet. So I think that's sweet. I am going to, by the way, write Gadget on this pineapple right now in case it doesn't go to her right away. I think it probably should, though. I'd like to see uh, how she likes it. I guess it's got a bell inside. It does, in fact. I can see it. A big one. Ooh. And the feathers on top. I think she'll really get a kick out of that. I should probably give it to her right away instead of waiting for her endowments. She needs a lot more stimulation. Uh, she really does. Okay, moving right along. Let's see here. Well, this appears to be a t-shirt. Is there a note? Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Please enjoy the gift enclosed from Bellamy. Uh, B-E-L-I-M-M-Y, a name I recognize. All right, Bellamy, uh, short and to the point. Let's see what we are going to enjoy. Oh, I see a very cute kitten. And uh, thank you for your order. Well, you're welcome. Why do my shirts smell like vinegar? <laughs> Printing process uses a chemical. Okay, we get it. Uh, aw, that's so cute. Uh, ta, meow, go. Hmm. I might have to work on that one a little bit. Oh, ta, meow, go. I don't know. It makes me think um, egg. Oh, it is. It's an egg. I see now. This is, I thought this was a cat tree that it was sitting on, but it is not. It is an egg sushi uh, or, you know, uh, whatever, you, I guess. I, yeah, no, that's, I'm calling it the right thing. That's good enough. From this angle, I'm just seeing a cat on a cat tree. Like, this is the, the stand for the tree, and this is the top, and this is just a little cutout, so you have a nice circular shape for the image. But no, when I look at it the other way, it is Tamago, uh, the egg uh, which is egg, I think, in Japanese, probably. I, just, I mean, I know, I know the language is Japanese. I don't know for sure that it actually means just egg. It probably does. Uh, there you go. So that's really cute. It's adorable. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! All right, you two, take it easy. Okay, take it easy. That means stop. That means take it easy. Yeah, you're being a little bit uh, extra there, buddy. That's got to be cash, right? Let me check you. I can't even tell which one it is anymore without seeing their feet. Yes, that is cash. Uh, not letting up when Gabe says knock it off. But, 
<laughs> I mean, they would have worked it out just fine, but that just seemed like a bit much. So thank you so much for the t-shirt, Bellamy. That's going to be a fun one to wear around. It's just super cute, and since it's black, I'm guessing that DJ's going to steal it from me. She likes the dark colored shirts, and she likes cute little kitten stuff. So she's probably going to end up wearing that. But we'll see. We can always fight over it. Honestly, we do end up just sort of sharing our t-shirts. It's like a communal t-shirt thing going on. So it works out. Okay. This is also addressed to Kitten Academy mailbag. This may be the uh, other stuff that we were missing from uh, ShareBear. Let's see if it isn't. Ah, so it is. Okay. Oh, hey, this is good. Okay, so... Um, what did you say? The uh, interactive door toy is to deploy. Okay, cool. Well, we can, although we have this exact toy hanging um, over by the den right now. And let me tell you, it is a great one. Out of all of the door hanging toys that I have seen, this is certainly one. Uh, no, this is, this is certainly the best. Um, because it's made out of this extremely strong plastic with a big strong spring in it, uh, whereas the ones that are wire, they all kind of either break or get lost or they're just not grippy enough uh, a lot of the time. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. This one grips like no end. Uh, it is fantastic. But uh, maybe the best part of it is, of course, that you can charge it up um, with a USB charger and then it will move the mouse up and down on the string to really get some attention. The cats go crazy for it every time. And then and when we're done, I don't even take it down. I leave it on the door all the time. I just roll up the mouse and tuck him on top when I don't want them to play with it. So this is fantastic. It never hurts to have a second spare backup or one that we can deploy in another location. And I even see here um, that they're using it to clamp like on a cat tree instead of on a doorway which I can totally see. Like I said, it's really strong. It's got some great clamping force, and you could probably use it in a lot of uh, different ways. So that is a fantastic one. And um, let's see. We set this aside because there's one more thing in here. And it is Catch a Mouse by the Tail. It's uh, made in Nepal, New Zealand wool. So it is obviously a felted mouse. Wow. Well, it's all sealed in here. What did you say to do with it? Um, catch a mouse deploy. Okay, I guess that's this then. So that means I can. we can open it and take a look. This packaging is really cute with a rainbow unicorn. Oh, uh, hang on, though. It's also not opening for me. Okay. I think this is basically like um, one of those wand toys, except with a mouse on the end instead of a wand. Let's find out. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> look at this way this is packaged. Uh, that's so cute. It's a little mouse head sticking out and then the long uh, string part all wrapped around him and nicely tucked in so that uh, he's just in like a little cocoon, like a little cocoon mouse. That's pretty adorable. But if we open it up, it is exactly as we thought, a long piece of rainbow felted string and at the end of it, a mouse. It's basically the longest of all long tail mice. Look at that. And he's got a cute little face with a little pink blush on it and these blue ears and, and actual uh, little um, uh, thread whiskers and a nose. He's very cute. And it's very solidly, it's uh, solidly um, uh, felted, so it will probably last quite a while. It's like some heavy felting, not just, uh, you know, they didn't go light on it, which is cute. I don't want to leave out something that is such a long string unless the kittens are supervised with it. Although, you know, knock on wood, we've never had an issue. And uh, I feel like this one's probably pretty safe considering its thickness. Um, nonetheless, I am going to re-cocoon him. Mine's not quite as even as theirs was, but oh, it's coming apart already. Uh, but mine has... A little handle at the end. I <laughs> left a loop on there. I know, pretty clever. All right, he's really cute. That's going to be a fun one for everyone. Okay, it is Catch a Mouse by the Tail, handmade in Nepal. Unicorn Swirl. I see. Unicorn Swirl is the uh, pattern of that rainbow. Uh, and I can see it looks like, um, you know, that sort of cyan pink yellow that uh, you do see 
when people are going for that look. So, very cool. I was calling it a rainbow, but I guess those three colors do not a rainbow make. They make a unicorn swirl. Let's see if I can't remember that next time I have to refer to it. Well, somebody wants to play with it anyway. Do you want to try that? Go ahead. Let me check here. Okay. All right. Just a few boxes left, but I think these ones might take a little while each. Let's see. Um, <laughs> where to start? Okay. Uh, Let's do this one. This one has come from overseas, from Canada. Oh, that's not exactly overseas. It's over lands. Um, <laughs> uh, DJ was telling me that one of the adopters of this class may be uh, in Canada, which is a first for us. I know I had discussed that with Dawes as something that we were willing to do, um, especially, you know, if it's possible to have the kittens go without having to be quarantined, that would not be okay. But I think that is the case, as we discovered. So uh, if that is true, I think it's one of the adopters that we haven't contacted yet, one of the ones that's not on Discord. Um, but uh, it was interesting. It's, it's very interesting. I couldn't tell you which kitten that is. Sorry. I'm sure we will all find out in due time. Oh, well, we all recognize what this is, or you will anyway. Ooh, cookies and cream, ice cream sandwiches. Well, it's not that. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Uh, Sans Nam uh, apparently would be no name, but it does sound like uh, without eating, doesn't it? It does, if you're American anyway, and say nom. All right, let's see. Card and note safe to read on air. Oh, I like that. I'm not just allowed to read on air. It's also safe. Happy Father's Day. Okay, we've got a kitten doing repairs around the house. It says if a toilet is running or a tile needs gluing or a nail needs nailing or a screw needs screwing. Whoa, if uh, the roof is leaking in need of some patching, if an engine needs tuning or a lawn needs thatching. If paint is peeling or a door is creaking, if the toaster won't toast or a stair is squeaking, if a window sticking or the front lawn needs seating, if there's any repair job the household is needing, we just turn to you and you quickly get to it. You pick up the phone and call someone to do it. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, after all of the illustrations of this guy doing all of the things, that's uh, I did not see that coming, actually. Mr. A, thank you for being a great dad to all the cats who live at your house and the ones who are privileged of coming through your doors. Lord and Lady Cuthbertson and Merlin and Destiny. Wow, those are some names, uh, all four of them. There's also another note that says, Mr. A, DJ faculty, mom, cats, babies, and KA fans, here are carrier blankets and toys for Skylight and the Skyscrapers for the Snugglers and for Gadget and her crew. All right, um, hang on. There's something else in here, too, which we will read about in just a minute. So this is for COG, um, and you can see it's got rainbows. Wow, it's got a rainbow with a, a VW bus and then a red background, and obviously a slight, a, a, a little assortment of cat toys, good ones. Here, Axel gets polka dots and plants, plants, polka dots. Crank gets, ooh. Crank gets a zebra stripe with a purple back. That's very royal, isn't it? Okay. Sprocket is polka dots with plants. Ah, very familiar. Okay. Uh, Gadget is purple with kitties. I uh, will re-endow Sprockets, of course. Um, I don't have to tell you that. We'll make sure it goes somewhere good. Okay, here we've got um, black with little spirals and uh, purple on the back for pajamas. Hot chocolate has red with um, little uh, uh, plant flowers. Uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, dandelion floof is what that says to me anyway. I don't know what that looks like to you. Uh, DJ and I were just marveling at how soft hot chocolate's fur is. It is so soft. It's really something else. Marshmallow gets this cool uh, mandala. It's like a like 
blue and orange mandalas with a purple background, or maybe those are sort of purple mandalas. Okay. Cashmere gets the black. Oh, this is not the same ones. These are like a black, um, I don't know, squares, concentric squares, and uh, red on the front. There you go for cashmere. Skylight has purple with the kitties. That's a very cool print. Joist has, now this is the spirally pattern again. I don't know what else to call it for Joist with the purple. Okay, there's a couple more still to go. Rafter has foxes and squirrels looking at each other. Very cute and purple. Gable has this Charlie Brown zigzag, except in blue with a silver, an actual like shiny reflective silver trim. And on the other side, uh, flowers, beautiful flowers. Uh, Charlie Brown in blue. There we go. And then finally, Alcove has this bright yellow abstract pattern. Um, uh, could be like a deconstructed pineapple almost. And then on the other side, purple, of course. Oh, look at that. We've got yellow and purple toys, too. That one manages to match up very well. Okay, that's the blankets, but you did send some other items here. So let's see what you have to say about it. Uh, there is a pineapple ice cube tray. Look at that. It is a silicone uh, pineapple ice cube tray. Now, I probably would not use this for ice cubes, but I probably would use it as a mold for uh, either chocolates or candies. Uh, I like to make gummies once in a while just for fun. It's something I've experimented with using like leftover berries and stuff that we have, real fruit. So that's something I could always do with this that would be really cute. I'm not ambitious enough to do little green tops on yellow uh, pineapples and gummies. That's just work. That's too much work. But uh, I am ambitious enough to actually use it to just make some. Uh, out of, you know, that would be fun, I think. So thank you for that. Uh, pineapple ice cube tray and a cat plaque. Uh, this is great. It says... Yes, I really do need all of these cats. Now, some of you uh, will remember that we have a half dozen plaques that say, yes, I really do need all of these cats. And so some clever YouTube discorder, I don't remember who now, I'm sorry, um, made us a cross stitch that said, yes, I really do need all of these plaques. And uh, to put in, or signs, I think it says, but yes, it says, yes, I really do need all these signs. And then I put it on our little front entryway uh, table where we put sort of our greeting stuff with all of these signs that say, yes, I really do need all these cats. And then one that says, yes, I really do need all these signs. It's, uh, it's very cute. So we've got another one to add to the collection. It's uh, never enough. Never enough cats, never enough signs. All right. And then a bag of extra toys to do what you want with uh, from, of course, Lord and Lady Cuthbertson uh, and Merlin and Destiny. All right. So the toys. Oh, they look like, oh, they're all foods. We've got ice cream, pizza, hamburgers, a bag of pop, a, ba a, bar a barrel of popcorn. Yes, easy for me to say. And a hot dog. Uh, perfect. Those could be a lot of fun for everybody. Uh, that is great. Thank you so much. Okay, so well, let's put these over here. And let's put all of this in to go down to the endowment area. I have cleaned the basement. It's very nice, but it could use a little bit of extra organizing uh, still. And um, i got to make sure I keep up with it and don't just let it go again. So... There we go. Put all this in there for now. That'll head downstairs. And next. Okay. Uh, next, let's do these two, and then we'll come back around to this last one. Oh, I didn't cover this one up as much as I thought I did. Okay, that's fine. Let's just open it. This is box one of two from Joy F. Joy, protected with a knife guard, and here we have the note. Oh, this is some cool tissue paper in here. We can give this to the kitties. Look at that. Okay, 
Oh, right on it. Nice one. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope all is well. Time sure seems to fly by. It seems like just last week the skyscrapers and snugglers joined the academy. It sure does. This, this class seems like they went really fast. Um, and by um, getting adopted so fast is nice, but just it feels like they were just kittens yesterday, and here they are all grown up. Uh, let's see. They have grown so much, and it is so heartwarming to see them grow into the cats they were meant to be, all under the careful watch of Sky, you and DJ. Sky is such a wonderful, loving mom. She's quite special. Sending gift bag and trinket boxes for Sky and her babies. The trinket boxes have teeny tiny cat beds I made and teeny tiny kittens to put in them. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I'm sure if DJ sees them, she will squee. Uh, large springs are for the kittens and uh, an extra to deploy. There are also other toys that can be deployed as you see fit. There is a pineapple and a kicker for Gadget. Please let her have them now. Thank you for all you do. From Joy, Bayou, Abby, and Gracie. Okay, let's take a look at all of that. So, deploy, we have here a pod and tunnel combination. And as always, you can never have too many of that. Kittens always love tunnels and they always love pods. That's, it seems like that's just a hit that nobody doesn't like. Okay. Oh, when you said springs, you meant the big ones. All right, good. Um, so... This says deploy. Good. So we can use it as an illustration of what maybe some of the others have. Here we have a bag of um, our little uh, jingle balls, charlie balls. We've got some felted balls. We've got springs. We've got uh, fun tubes and a little tiny micro wand. Oh, isn't that cute? Little teeny tiny wand. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fun. Okay. We also have in the deploy bag... Uh, what looks like a couple of fun caterpillars, the bigger ones. Oh, and I love that they're like pastel rainbows. I don't know if you can see that past hot chocolate, but uh, they're very cute. They have little faces and antenna. Adorable. I really like that. We have some bonus fun tubes. I know some kittens that will love those. And, uh, oh, it looks like another similar bag, actually identical bag of little toys and springs. Perfect. And then, of course, the big item is the adult size spring toy, uh, like sort of like the springs that they like when they're kittens, but uh, it's like a tunnel that doesn't have any sides to it. It's just a big coil, and it's got a mouse on one end and a feather on the other end and a little bell. You can see they already want to play with it, and it's decorated with some sparkly, woven, nylon-y material. Okay, you guys, you've got you to gotta wait. You've got one of these in the bedroom already deployed. I don't know why they have to wait. Ah, that's fine. We'll, we'll give them the one in the bedroom when we get up there. Then they'll have their fun. So those are wonderful, though. I especially like these little caterpillars, the little rainbow, pastel rainbow caterpillars. Super, super cute. Two of them. Wow. And it sounds like he's got a little bit of a rattle. Oh, maybe those are just his eyes. All right. I, I don't know where to put these guys, but I want to put one out right now. So I'm just going to leave one right back here. Okay, see what happens with that. Perfection. Okay. Now, the rest of this box contains uh, kittens already. They got right in there. For new mom cat. Okay, that's uh, this is for Gadget. She's got a Yow catnip pineapple. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, a cat kicker with a feather on it and one of those little sticks that has the silver vine nugget and feathers on it that is always a hit. She's going to go nuts for that. I don't think she has one yet. So that's going to be really good for her. I'm going to put that here with the other pineapple that says Gadget. Okie dokie. Now, this also says Deploy. Okay. This has a llama toy. Hang on here. Let's take a look at him. So, uh, I guess it's more of an alpaca, really, uh, based on the way it looks. and the Oh, it says it's a llama, though. Okay, loopy llama. He's very cute. Little Gabe has jumped in this box again, and he's just, he's just settled down in there. He's just like, no, I live in here now among the toys. He's just sitting, hi, buddy. Okay, well, if that's where you live, I, who am I to complain? Here, we'll put it on the stream for one second so I don't have to send that picture to anybody. 
What are you looking at, buddy? What are you doing in there? Are you a toy too? I guess you are. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, all right. Let's um, keep going. We have... Ooh, oh, this is a feather that is on a weighted base, so it will stand up when they knock it down. So I bet anybody would probably get a big kick out of this. It kind of reminds me of the toy upstairs that um, both... Uh, Joist and Teaspoon have enjoyed playing with that pink, um, it's like a wobbly ball track with a feather on top. I bet they would like this the same way, although I'm tempted to save it for the kittens to play with as one of their first little toys. So we'll see. This is two very feathery catnip birds. All right. This is, oh, a tiny caterpillar. This is the one that we've got one of out somewhere already. So this is like the junior version of the big guy there. This is a real fur ball. That is a high value toy for the cats and kittens. We've got a couple of semi-flat mice. Actually, one's a raccoon and one's a squirrel. And they're not entirely flat, but that's what we're going with as a description. I still don't know what to call these, but they are always fun for the kittens. It's like a little ball with everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Mesh feather ball is how they describe it. Why not? Here we have an atomic toy. Uh, there's a couple of those. And then we've got an assortment of pom-poms. Uh, a second, one of those soft, smaller caterpillars. Some more of the, uh, I don't know what to call it, toys. A couple of perfect little mice for Loganberry style. So that's a great assortment. We're going to put all that right back in here where it says deploy, so I don't forget that these are for general use. Slide that over here with the other bag that says deploy. And let's see what Gabe is hiding in here. So here we have the springs for everybody, one for hot chocolate, one for joist, etc., etc. Oh, there's a different sizes, though. There's two different sizes. We've got the big cyan-colored ones and the slightly smaller... Um, or yellow ones. So Gable gets a yellow one. Alcove gets a big green. I said cyan. It's sort of a seafoam green, really. That's what we'll go with. So super cute. Okay, now let's see. What is it that Gabe is sitting on here all wrapped in tissue? Oh, these are the little boxes that you made, aren't they? <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. I got to look inside, too. Oh, he's so tiny. It is so tiny. Oh my goodness. It's got a little set, a knitting set. And I think there's something else right in here. Oh, it's a, the little tiny kitten that you made. And he's like sitting like he, like a teenager uh, talking on the phone or something excited. He's sitting on his stomach with his back legs uh, sort of bent at the knee up, you know, um, and then he's got his little hands on his excited face and mouth. That face is the most adorable thing. I'm going to get out the close-up camera so you guys can see this, and I'm assuming they're all very similar. So let's take a close look at it. Hang on here. So this is uh, from, um, uh, wait, wait, uh, who are we opening this from? This, this is still the same box from... Uh, Joy F. Yeah, no, it is. I, why am I confused about that? Okay, so Joy F. Uh, perfect. And we've got the uh, the little pineapple box that you described, and I'm assuming there's one for each kitten because there's a whole bunch of them in here. This one is for cashmere. It's even got a C on it and a pineapple. And then we've got like some wood burning effects here to make it all decorated. And inside the box, this is where it gets really special, we have some little tiny knitting accessories, just to give them a little small stuff. And then this adorable little kitten that you made, and this face is so perfect on it. Uh, let's see if we can get a focus on that. There we go. Look at how... Ah, we need some better light for this, though, don't we? Look at how excited his little kitten face is with his little paws on it. Is that adorable or what? He's so cute, and you can see he's got his little back legs up in this super excited little pose. There we go. Uh, super cute with his little tiny bed. And it even looks like cashmere. I wonder if you've done that for all of them. Do they all look like the kittens that they are? That would be so special for their adopters, wouldn't it? We're going to have to open at least one more to find out. So let's do that together real quick. I won't put this away yet. 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't know which one I'm going to be opening because they're all wrapped up. But this one has something extra in it, so let's see what it is. Okay. All right, so this one is for S. Skylight, I see. That's why it has something extra for mom. And the extra for mom is... Hang on. Hang on. Hold, please. We're trying. We got one hand, all right? Oh, man, this is wrapped up, too. Okay, there we go. Aw, that's so cute. Look at that. Very sunny. And I love the little ladybug on that frame. That is just adorable with a stand and everything. Okay. But for Skylight, let's take a look in here now. This is where it gets super special. So, oh, things got mixed up just a little bit in shipping, but that's all right. This has got to be the uh, little kitten that you've made. And it does, in fact, look just like Skylight. And this one's got its own pose as well. And a tiny little bed to stay in with, is that pineapples? No, it's not. It's floral. That's still very cute. And look at her also making a very excited little face. I love their little excited faces. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, it is way, way too cute. That's just adorable. So you've made each one look like the kitten that it is. That's very sweet. And the other side here, I think, is just a, like the other sewing kit kind of inclusion. Um, let's just take a look and see if it is. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Look at that. She's got, actually, it's not. It's little charms. There was a charm in that other kit. Uh, it says S for skylight and a little pineapple charm, all that stuff. Okay, wait, I'm dropping them, and I don't want to do that, especially not with Gabe here to interfere. Gabe, don't eat anything. I heard, I thought I heard two of them fall, and I've only got one back in. All right, we'll figure it out. I'm going to put this camera down now so I have both hands to figure all of this out. Uh, that is amazing, Joy. Oh, oh, it's not working. You guys didn't get to see any of how cute it was. I get it. DJ just messaged me, and I know exactly why. Hang on, let me fix it. We'll do it again. You ready? I know why. Uh, I forgot. Try this. All right, here we go. One more time. Once more. Okay, this skylight one's a better one to illustrate anyway. So these are the little boxes from Joy. Each one um, is from uh, is for each individual kitten that's getting adopted. This one is Skylights. It's got an S on the top and a pineapple. Um, and she also gets a little bonus frame that's got these ladybugs on it. And I'm sorry, I know that was probably really frustrating for you guys, but here we are. Um, okay. Um, now, the cutest thing is inside each of these, she's packed a few tiny things. This one's got little charms in it, including a little charm uh, pineapple that is super cool. If I can find it with one hand, I can't. Uh, maybe that's the other one that fell on the floor a second ago that I did not locate yet, but will. Um, anyway, on top of that, she has made, Joy F has personally made a little tiny excited replica of each cat. This one is Skylight. As you can see, it looks just like her making a little excited face for her adopter. Is that adorable or what? I'm assuming this works this time. If not, then we're just out of ideas, but that's got to be it. Um, I hope. Oh, no, I just realized there's one other thing that could be going wrong. I guess we'll have to check, but I'm just going to pretend like it worked this time. And then just to give you a comparison, we have Cashmere right here. And Cashmere has some little stuff in here, including a charm that says C for Cashmere and his little bed. But this is the little cashmere kid. You can see he's also very excited. He's got his little paws on his face and he's got his little legs kicked up. And this is much better light than the first time around. So I hope it's working this time. There we go. We're not going to try to show you all of them because mailbag would take all day. But these are so cute. There we go. So there's one for each little kitten to be adopted with. That is super special and wonderful. All right, there we go, from Joy F. Let's see if that one worked. I'm just going to look on Discord to see if we got it this time. There we go, I think we did. Yes, we certainly did. Good, 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 okay. 
Now, let me see if I can wrap some of this back up. And if that little tiny pineapple doesn't turn up... Oh, there it is. Aha. Yes, it slid right under me. So let's put that back in for skylight. There we go. Wow, one of those for each cat and kitten. Very special. Oh! All right, then. Uh, oh, the picture. Oh, I see. You say, please forgive me, because I, I, it's actually the wrong cat in the photo frame, which is very funny, but that's okay. Nobody's going to notice. I wouldn't notice. Um, anyway, we can always either uh, find another picture to put in there or just let the adopter fix it up. She'll just think, oh, this is a cute photo frame for me to put my own photo in with a generic photo of a cat in it already. They don't have to know. We didn't t we're not going to tell anybody, okay? That's a secret between you and me. Um, okay, you do have an entire second box that you have sent, so let's take a look and see what that is. Here we go. Box two. I can see a cat has audited this box. It's got little tooth marks all over one of these cardboard corners. Oh, and another cardboard corner. Oh, it says right here, Abby, Bayou, and Gracie signatures on top flap, also here. I think you guys can probably see this one. All right, note in box number one, good, okay. So this is the, oh wow, you also sent all of your regular kind of little bags for each kitten. That is just too much, way too much. And these are super cute as well. Let's just see, all right, here's the one for Joist. And we'll use that as an example, but they're all just as adorable. Hi, Sky, you are really taken front and center, aren't you? So here you've included the, the bag, and inside you've wrapped everything in tissue, and then we've got a handmade wooden little name plaque that says Joist, and it has a home and a heart on it, which is adorable. And then uh, are there any of these that don't have all the tissue in them? No, there are not. Okay, that's fine. I, I love the way you package it. I'm just going to ruin Joists a little bit. And I know Joyce's adopter isn't going to mind too much. So let's take a look and see. That name tag alone is worth the price of admission. It is beautiful. Okay. So I see... Okay, let's see how much I don't have to unwrap. I see we've got... Oh, oh, I see. This is basically like what you've included in uh, the uh, bonus packages that we already went through for deployment. Because we've got the little caterpillar... We've got the atomic ball, I can see. We've got the, I don't know what to call it, toy. We have a little kicker. And then we have, what on earth is this thing? Looks like a plastic bag. Oh, it has a little tiny something in it, but what is it? Uh, it looks like either a magnet or adhesive. To, oh, it's like a little magnet. It's an adhesive magnet. <laughs> so it's both. And it must go for one of the toys to be uh, stuck onto the fridge or something. I wonder which toy it is, though, and I see a catnip banana in here and some fun tubes. Very cool. Oh, that is great. Okay, good. And I didn't even have to take it all out, so we can maintain that looking all nice for Joyce's adopter. Let's tie that back up in a cute little bow. Wonderful. Joy, these are spectacular, but... Those little boxes with each cat made, handmade in it, it really takes the cake. That is something else that these adopters are just going to love forever. And I do have to show some of them to DJ because that is too cute and she is going to lose it. Uh, I don't even know how to thank you enough for that on, on behalf of the adopters because I know they aren't all probably going to be able to get back to you. Uh, but I do know they are all going to appreciate it so much. That is just fantastic. I'm going to put your note right in here, too, so that later on I'm like, oh, who sent this? Even though it's right on the box. Okay. Let me slide this out of the way for now. Oh, like that. All right. And one last thing. Oh, and I think we all can guess what's in here when I tell you it says it is from Lena. All right. Lena, who has a habit of sending the same sort of thing for every class. I love the people who do that, that have their thing, just like you, Joy. 
Lena has sent, all right, who wants to guess? There are a couple different things she sent, so it's legitimate, like you could guess. In this case, it is the embroidered uh, catnip mice. Here's one for Skylight and Joist, and there's one for each. Let's see if there is a note to go along with all of that. There is some paperwork here. The paperwork says, uh, let's see here. Enjoy Marsh, enjoy cashmere, enjoy pajamas, enjoy hot chocolate. All right. Cat and mice for beautiful skylight and her adorable skyscrapers. Love and spoogles from Lena. Perfect. We've also got Joyce, Skylight, Rafter, Gable, and Alcove. Wait, there's one more note here. Oh, uh, Marsh, cashmere, pajamas, hot chocolate. Oh, that's repeated twice. Okay, fair enough. Why not? Uh, those are wonderful. Uh, Lena, you, you send these for the, all the kittens, and I just know that the adopters have got to love these. They are fantastic. Uh, I am curious about why they repeated that one, but I don't see any actual duplicates in here. I think they just decided to write that note twice. Who knows? I mean, that's fine. It's fine with me. They're very cute little uh, catnip mice, though. Each one, like I said, embroidered with their names. Super adorable, and I know that it's going to be fun for the adopters. Even the ones that, that end up renaming their kittens... Um, which, by the way, they're going to feel really bad about now that they have those special little, little things, but I'm kidding. Though even that, it's, it's still nice. It's fun to remember, you know, like what their name was. It's like sort of just a memorial of their time here then, which is also, I think, a lot of fun. So uh, I always have fun when our mom cats come in with names and we don't, we don't ever, like, we don't tend to reveal those. Wow, Sky is flying around. We don't tend to reveal those names until... Uh, like, you know, they're after they're adopted, if at all. <laughs> Sky is like zooming back and forth, galloping. It's really cute. Um, but, uh, but it is fun for me sometimes to, to think back and go like, does she really seem like that or does she seem like this, you know? So uh, I think it's fun for them too, I imagine. It's got to be. Okay, now I want to combine some of this for carrying around purposes. Uh, that was everything, by the way. Joy, uh, thank you. Thanks to everybody who sent stuff. The kittens are so spoiled. It's wonderful. I just love all of the creativity, and it must be so much fun to, to send this stuff in and to know that they, when they go to their home, they're going to have that and, and uh, you know, be connected to you in that way forever. So I think that's wonderful. go. I, I always think back to when DJ and I started sending endowments with the kittens, and I know I've talked about this before, but we just bought like a stack of those little lunch bags. If you ever brought your, your lunch to school in a, in a paper bag that's like the small size paper bag, and even those we didn't fill, like we'd put a couple toys and a can of their food in it and send them on their way. Uh, and that was such a long time ago, and now that is nothing like what they get. Uh, they get a lot, and it's fantastic. Like, their adopters have got to just love the fact that they are so loved by so many people. It's just special all by itself. So uh, thank you all for making that happen. I, I think it's wonderful. All right, uh, let's see. i got to figure out how to put all this stuff up now. So that's all going down for deployment. This is going probably down for storage to start with for later deployment. So those little tiny handmade kittens in their little tiny beds are spectacular, just spectacular. Okay, uh, what do I do here? All right, this can go right. What would you say it is you do here? Um, <laughs> oh, look at that. You got this. You want this? Nope. Hey, I tried. Okay, I'm going to take these things into... Oh, this should probably go in here for now since we have one out that I should turn on for them once in a while. 
And then this is all going to head same direction. And this I want to set out so I, I don't forget to bring it on Monday. Put it somewhere where I know I'm going to see it for little cuddles. Okay, I'm going to switch mics and uh, get this stuff put away. Uh, thanks again, everybody. This has been fantastic, as always. I don't know if that's just because the kittens were making too much noise, so I'll make sure I can see what's going on up there before I turn it back on. Joystein here, take that. Oh, oh no, I completely forgot that Bob and Ruth uh, left the box here for the kittens last week at KAcon for us to open during mailbag. I think they said it was optional, but I do want to open it during mailbag. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll try to remember next week is what we'll do, I think. That should work, right? Right, why not? Okay. Let's see. This note can also go to the notes downstairs. This is going upstairs. This is also going upstairs. Oh, you already playing with the caterpillar, buddy? Good. Custer, you can go upstairs, but not yet. I gotta, I gotta manage that, okay? So not yet. You gotta wait that. Custard seems like he wants to go to his office. I know, pal. You got work to do. Incidentally, the thing that I was going to ramble about at the beginning of Mailbag and didn't, it was, it was really just a thought about when I was at the post office this morning, the, the, there were two employees there that were helping everybody, and they were the two employees that are just so consistently, like, um, happy and nice, you know, really kind uh, people, and it's not like I ever have any real extended interaction with them, but it, it really sort of cheered my day. Just, just that little tiny moment of somebody that was 
happy to see me or happy to be doing their thing, you know, or whatever it was, just not being a negative and uh, sort of caught up in the, the world events, just uh, just out there doing their thing and with a smile on and it seemed genuine and always does, it's very consistent that way. Uh, that's such a nice thing, isn't it? It's something I think we should all sort of strive for. You never know. They probably have no idea that that, that meant something to me specifically uh, this morning. But uh, that's that's the point, I guess, that I wanted to make. Is you just you never know. I, you, you, I think you seldom realize sort of the impact that you can have on people. You don't even have to be a YouTuber, you know, to do it. You just Every day, the people that you run into, the tiny little interactions, they, they do matter. They really do matter to people. And I think that's an important thing for all of us to remember. Uh, not just me, but I, I do sometimes need a reminder of it. So that was it. That was the thought for the day. There you go. Buddy, you're me out at me. All right. Well, I thought I could take this all on one more trip, but I'm going to take a couple, I guess. I'll be back. Do you want to come up to the office with me? We can both do a little bit of workout. What do you think? I don't know how. 
how these kids move these toys around so much. The tunnel, maybe I can understand the tunnel a little bit, but that princess tent gets pushed to the walls all the time. That takes some new, especially with the heavy cardboard I put in the bottom of it. All right, Custard, if we go together to my office, then we can open these doors and these kittens can run around the house and DJ will like that since she's home today, right? Come on, buddy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Set that mouse on the kitchen counter and it was already knocked to the floor. <laughs> 